You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. Hasman Hotel is quite possibly the best indie show pilot there is. Just like Cliffside, Hasman Hotel absolutely blew me away. I've been waiting two years for it, and I can safely say it did not disappoint me at any moment. The cartoony sound effects, the gorgeously smooth animation, and the talent is fuck voice actors. It was all amazing, and it was absolutely perfect to me. I can't think of anyone who would have a problem with it. Except the people that do, because for some reason, some people do. Of course, it's an obscenely small percentage of people, so... So small, it's kind of funny. But it's the usual shit you'd expect from people that are whining over nothing. Now let me express that the show isn't actually perfect. There was definitely some things that it can be criticized for, but not much. And you can tell that a lot of these people were grasping for straws. One of the weakest criticisms I heard was some YouTuber mentioning that Alistair's voice had a weird radio effect for no reason. Gee, it's not like his title is The Radio Demon. He carries around a sentient microphone, makes jokes about an older time period, and makes radio noises when he walks around. And you didn't pick up on that... How? And now for the Twitter side of things. Yay! Twitter's always so much fun. As usual, with what you can expect from Twitter, if you remember the kick Vic shit or any time anyone on the internet made a minor mistake and people wanted to end their lives because of it, uh, people on Twitter are fucking batshit insane. I've met more rational people on iFunny, and that's saying a lot, because iFunny fucking sucks. But the big issues that people are complaining about on Twitter, and I say issues with the fattest quotation marks around it that I can, is people calling Hasbun Hotel racist, homophobic, or transphobic. And they're saying that if you aren't homosexual or transsexual, you don't get to have an opinion on it. Well, uh, my opinion is that you're all fucking whining for no goddamn reason. I can't think of any other transsexual, bisexual, homosexual person that I know that would watch this show and go, Wow, this is deliberately trying to offend me. No, they'd watch it and go, Hey, this takes place in hell, where everyone is a piece of shit. Mind-boggling stuff, am I right? It's almost like context is fucking important. There's one more thing I'd like to touch on on this situation, which I've seen people start to use. And anytime this becomes one of the main focuses of your argument, I personally feel like your argument is invalid. Immediately. It's immediately invalidated. And you want to know what that thing is? Going t and digging in a person's past to try and find something that where they fucked up despite the fact that they probably already apologized for it and have moved on because people can change i know right whoa we all have free will and minds that grow over time holy shit we actually learn things it's the stuff with um that always pops up whenever there's something like this i Okay, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, but I'm using this as an example. During the whole Brett Kavanaugh stuff, when they were trying to find more stuff to put on him, they were going in his past so far, just all the way back, to just try and find things that he did wrong, or just somewhere where he slipped up. Just trying to find a place where he was, you know, human. And as far as I know, they found nothing. But same thing with Vic Mignogna, they'd like go digging for things that he'd say or whatever. And it's... It's ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous. And the way that pertains to this situation is people are going back several, several years ago to things that Vivzi slipped up and said, or wasn't thinking and said, tweeted, whatever, which she's already apologized for. Let me make that as clear as possible. This is stuff that she's apologized for. Not recently, 
but a while ago. So how the hell does that further validate the point that the show is offensive? You're taking things that are completely irrelevant to the point you're trying to make to try and further strengthen your point. And all it does is make you look like a retarded two-year-old. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> and you look dumb when you do it. All in all, if you have not seen has -Been, go watch it now. Just go watch- I don't care what you're doing. Whatever you're watching, it isn't important. Well, you're watching my video, so whatever. But, uh, go watch has -Been. Go watch that first 30-minute pilot, and you'll be amazed at how fucking good it is. It's- like, yeah, it's not perfect. It's an indie cartoon. It doesn't have the backing of a company with millions of dollars. It is an indie cartoon, and it looks better than most cartoons that you can find on Cartoon Network, or anywhere else, really. And it looks beautiful. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be doing more commentary videos like this on uh, cartoons or anime, whatever. I'm just going to try and branch out as much as I can and do new stuff. So, stay tuned!